bank rules and sage accounting. In this video, we will show you how to create and manage bank rules. Bank rules and sage accounting help automate the categorization of your bank transactions. By setting predefined criteria, you can ensure that incoming transactions are automatically sorted into the correct accounts, minimizing manual entry and reducing the risk of errors. Let's begin by creating a new bank rule. From the navigation bar, click Banking. From the bank account for which you want to create a rule, navigate to Actions and from the drop-down list, select Manage Bank Rules. Alternatively, click Manage Bank Rules from the Banking window. Both will take you to the Bank Rules page. From the Bank Account drop-down list, at the top right-hand side, select the preferred bank account. Then, click Create Rule to start creating your first bank rule. Enter a name for the rule. In this example, we'll use a recurring transaction of a direct debit for gas and electricity. Select whether it applies to payments or receipts. To activate this rule when saving, select this checkbox. If you decided not to use this rule later, deselect this option to deactivate it. Next, set the conditions that the bank transaction must have to match this rule. This could be the account number or IBAN, amount, check number, reference, sort code, BIC or date. In this example, we'll select amount. Then select one of the value options. In this example, we'll select equals and enter the exact amount that the transaction should be. Repeat this step to enter more criteria for your rule. We'll create a second one for the date and enter the date range. In the next section, enter the transaction details starting with the transaction type. This can be a bank transfer, other payment and other receipt, or payment on account. Next, select a relevant supplier that you've paid or who paid you, and the method of payment used. You can also add a reference and a description to use when creating this type of transaction. If you leave the reference box empty, Sage Accounting will use the bank's reference. Enter the nominal account you want to debit or credit with the amount of this transaction. Finally, enter the VAT rate that applies to the transaction. To add another, select this checkbox and click Save to repeat this process. To just save this rule, click Save. You can create up to 300 bank rules per bank account. To use the same bank rules across multiple accounts or businesses, utilize the export and import features. First, Export the bank rules from the account where they are set up. Then you can easily import them into other accounts, saving time and avoiding duplicate effort. In this example, we'll export the bank rules set up in a different company. To do this, log into the relevant company. From the bank rules window, select the relevant bank account from the drop down list. Select the checkboxes for the corresponding bank rules you'd like to export. Next, click Export from the Action toolbar. Sage Accounting creates a bank rules file in JSON format and saves it in the downloads folder on your computer. Now log back into the company you'd like to import the bank rules to and go to banking. From the drop down list, select the bank you want to import those bank rules into and click Import Bank Rules. Please note that imported bank rules will be set to inactive and may need editing. They won't keep their original rule order, so please check and adjust the rule order after importing. To upload your file, click here to browse the exported file on your computer. Alternatively, drag and drop the file into the designated area. After a successful import, the newly imported bank rules will appear on a list on the bank rules page. Let's look at how you can edit and manage your bank rules. First, we'll start by looking at the bulk actions. Select the checkboxes next to the relevant rules and click copy from the action toolbar. Select the bank account to which you want to copy the rules from the drop down list and click Copy Rules. Back to the Bank Rules window, click Reassign. Use this to move selected rules to a different bank. Select the bank you want to move the rules to from the drop down list and click Reassign Rules. To delete multiple bank rules, select the relevant ones and click Delete. And to complete this action, click here. To individually edit a rule, click on the relevant one from the bank rules list. 
amend the relevant details as needed. To deactivate or reactivate a bank rule, deselect or reselect this checkbox as you see fit. Further down, if you have more than one bank rule set up in a bank account, the option to prioritize will appear. Please note that only one rule can be applied per transaction. Therefore, prioritizing rules determines which order we apply your bank rules. From the drop-down list, specify if you'd like this rule to be applied below, first or last. Once you are happy with the changes made, and to save, click here. Save time, reduce errors, and get more accurate reports with bank rules. For further information, visit our Help Center. You've now learned how to create and manage bank rules in Sage Accounting.